Hey, what is going on everyone? Happy Thanosgiving or American Thanksgiving or fake holiday for those of us in Canada and elsewhere in the world that doesn't actually celebrate anything on today. Uh, although a lot of us, I guess, will still get Black Friday tomorrow. So uh, congratulations to anyone who might be picking up any sales, whether it be on Marvel Strike Force or in the rest of the world, right? <laughs> online, I guess, for shopping. So what we're going to be talking about today is, well, we're going to be talking about the Thanos giving orbs, but there's a few other things in here as well, and I want to talk about a few of the sticking points that I have had with this event. And, you know, I've gone at length to talk about this in my own Discord channel over the last couple of days. Uh, by the way, if you aren't a part of the Discord community, I recommend joining up. We talk about all of this stuff, like, every day. You know, I'm at my computer a lot, so often I'm following along the conversation. So if you want to join in with that, uh, I definitely recommend joining the Discord, which you can find in the description below. There's a link for that there. So, before we get started here today man oh man you know i guess if you're not fast you're last and i think as far as content creators and and putting out uh videos about how terrible this is i think i might be last or near to it um that's mainly because i wasn't sure if i was actually going to release a video on this or not so today has come <laughs> thursday store reset has come and we have the uh the thanos giving orb uh, we also have this other one we're going to be talking about this orb secondly afterwards uh, the best of 2021 orb and it's here for 799 power cores what an effing weird number uh, we're going to dive into that afterwards so uh, we have the 78 thanos giving orb so right off the bat uh this is one of my biggest issues with this is that it requires 10,000 fragments to open and not 2,000, which a lot of us assume. So, had it been five times this amount, I mean, just to do simple math or a quick math, I think I would have resulted in 390 orbs or something. You know, I just multiplied 80 by five, subtracted 10. Yeah, weird mental math for me. So, 390 orbs if this was 2,000 fragments, but nope, uh, we have 78 orbs, not 390. So, what I have contention with is a lot of the odds for some of the drops. So the side pillars are not very good. It, as far as the gold drops, it's very low. Even the training modules guarantees one of. They're very, very lackluster. Had them, had they been five times the amount, I would have maybe understood a little bit given how many people are getting. Basic orbs should never be in a event, ever, and it's 10 to 20 fragments. That's just purely insulting, frankly. Uh, one, you know, like, this This is this is not good. You know, 10 greens, 5 blue, 1 purple, not good. And I believe the right pillar is basically the same. I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff. So, uh, let's talk about the center pillar. Now, <laughs> you can see it here. It says 0%. 0% chance that you can actually uh, get anything here. Now, this was clarified in a brief statement by uh, Cerebro, I believe, that basically said the odds are so low that the user interface cannot actually comprehend the number. Now, you can see here that one of the lowest drops that are listed is 0.001%. And just to put that into context, 0.1% is 1 in a 1,000 odds. 0.01 is 1 in 10,000. And this 0.001% is 1 in 100,000 odds. Now, which means like a couple of people are going to get this. And what, what's actually in here? Uh, 2 million gold, 1.25, 750k, and 100 to 300 silver fragments. Now, that, that sounds great, right? But when you realize that the concurrent, the amount of concurrent players... In Marvel Strike Force, you know, and I just told you it's one in 100,000 odds. At best, a couple of people are going to get this, you know, and maybe not even anyone. And so, realistically, this um, this zero percent, it was never clarified. You know, maybe I can bring up the statement really quick. So this was in my Discord channel here at the bottom. You can read this. So for the Thanos giving orb, there are several items where it shows a zero percent drop rate. Uh, this is a limitation with our user interface, as the actual drop rate is greater than zero percent, but less than one percent. No, no kidding, because I mean it shows zero point zero zero one on the other one. So there is an extremely small chance to get those items. We apologize for the confusion. So a the it doesn't tell us what the odds are. Give me a number. Is it you know, let's go back. 
Is it .0001, aka an additional zero after this one? Probably. That's what I'm going to assume it's going to be, uh, because they're not flat out telling us. And it raises some, you know, almost legal legality issues here. So I think one of the biggest things is that they should have been clear here about exactly what this percent is. They need to tell us that, and I'm actually really upset that they uh, don't tell us that here in the orb. Uh, even in the statement that they raised, it doesn't really tell us either. Uh, this is very misleading for a lot of people, especially since, you know, people who might not have Discord or Reddit or whatever won't know unless they send out in-game mail regarding this. And I think that's the biggest problem with events and communication with Marvel Strike Force is that they don't send in-game mail for, you know, probably, you know, a good 75% plus of the people who, you know, don't follow additional online communication. You know, they need to send this out in-game to tell people about it. Either way, you know, what's interesting about, you know, the, nobody's going to get these. So I told you that this was 1 in 100,000. This could be 1 in 1 million chance, which means that one person at best or none are going to get these drops. That's how rare that these drops are. You know, it doesn't really matter, you know, and this one, zero per, so, okay, 0% for this looks great, right? You know, you know, whatever, 1 in 1 million looks great if, if nobody's going to get it. But now look at these other ones that are basically the same odds. You go from that much gold to purple ability material, to purple training modules, to some T4s. You know, it's absolutely crazy that this would even be included, that this would even be included, and, and you know, aren't even like orange training mods or anything like that. And the rest of the drop rates are are awful. They're, they're really, the odds are so low, like you could probably add it all up together and it's not good at all. So this orb is very underwhelming the fact that basic orb fragments are here in the center it should never be in the center uh, what was that was that uh 0 0.09 so this was considered a rare drop at 0 0.09 percent so i said that 0.1 percent was a one in 1000 odds so this is essentially a one in 1000 odds giving you at fucking basic orb fragments it's absolutely horrific some of these other ones also pretty horrific Overall, you know, I've seen some screenshots of what people have got, and, and, and you know, it's not very good. Basic or fragments should never be in there. You know, even if they just remove the basic or fragments, I, I think actually it would be a little bit better. If it was replaced with any other fragments, Milestone or, milestone 2 orbs, premium orbs, gold orb training module orbs, fragments, you know, all that stuff, that would be, that would make it immensely better. Okay, so part of the problem is also that you can't open these 10 times, or, you know, 10 at a time, you have to open this one at a time 78 times or however many orbs that you have you know and it's not very good now i'm not gonna sit here and, yeah look at that i'm not gonna sit here and subject you to it that being said hey maybe i'll get some blue ability material for my baby account but there's absolutely nothing in here really that i need for my main account a lot of this is pretty trash so yeah i'm not gonna go through this at all now the second thing i wanted to talk about here is the best of 2021 orb now after we talk about this i'm gonna do a little bit of a tldr roundup based on the last few days <sighs> this orb do not buy it this is a scam this is such a scam orb best of 2021 orb it looks great but it's terrible so on the left and right side you get uh, guarantees one shard of all of these characters here uh, half of them which are actually farmable now by the way uh, so the right one is the same the center one now here's where it gets juicy so it contains a little bit more shards so you're getting five shards of one of you know these characters here which again about half of them are farmable and then you get five shards and then you get 15 shards of the same list and then you get 50 shards of a different list at two and a half percent now here you have cloak and dagger and death pool and uh, Shang-Chi. As far as unfarmables go, that's what's been added in here. Now, I think this might convince some people to buy this orb because some people might actually want to do that and might want to try to, you know, test their luck at two and a half percent. However, I want to I want to warn people that it's two and a half percent and then five percent on top of that. So it's uh, what is that? That's less than just mental math here, I believe it's less than 0.2% that you're going to get 50 shards and it's a specific character that you want, you know, so it, it's very low, it's very low. Uh, and then after that, you get 300 shards. Now what's added into this, by the way, 0.1%, uh, we've used this number before, that's a 1 in 1000 odds. So it's very, very slim. You would have to open a thousand of these orbs to hypothetically get this once. 
Now, who else is added in here? Well, you can see that the brand new characters are in here. You can see that Icarus is in here. You can see that Lady Deathstrike is in here. You can see that Cersei is in here. Silver Samurai, Silver Surfer, Kestrel. So, it doesn't matter that they're in here at 3.85%. Because realistically, it's 0.1%. Say you were pinning for that 300 shards of Icarus. You know, you really, really want him because he's the best character in the game right now. Uh, that would be, not only is it 1 in 1,000 odds, it's 3.85% of that. So you're multiplying RNG upon RNG. Please, please, please do not buy this orb. I don't know. Is there offers that include this orb? Or is it just making you pay power course to do it? I don't think there's any offers specifically targeting this orb. Uh, but maybe there might be. I don't know how long this orb is going to be up. Because it's called the best of 2021, we're not even through 2021 yet. And I'm kind of assuming that it's going to be here at least up until the end of the year. Who knows? Maybe they'll give us some free ones for the New Year's event. Fingers crossed, because hey, don't spend your power cores on this. And that equates to about this i guess probably close to about 10 us dollars or 13 canadian dollars to get one of these orbs if you were just buying power cores flat out and that is not very good okay so that leads me to what i want to say towards the end now i had this little notepad here written up that i kind of uh, compiled on my discord i basically crowdsourced a lot of the issues that people are having with these events and we're going to start and talk about the Thanos giving orb, but this also includes things like the Icarus Gift of the Celestials and the Endless Power. Now, I, I might do a more um, uh, targeted video specifically at these two events as a review, uh, but there's a few things that I wanted to talk about that people are mainly having the issues with. And please let me know in the comments down below if I miss something that I th that you that you guys think that what was a big issue that I didn't say. So basically, TLDR. If you haven't been around for the last few days and, you know, there's been a lot of rage on Reddit, on just online, on YouTube regarding these events, some of the major complaints I've received or I've heard is as follows. So number one, the Thanos giving milestones not being completable, free to play, and the blog not being clear on the intentions of the event. So basically, this one here is that you you can see that we basically finished up. We're not able to clear milestone 29. Uh, we got 1 to 28 free to play through the uh, Infinity Feast Blitz. And that's basically where we stayed. And they didn't really tell us this beforehand. There was no uh, transparency, no communication regarding this. So that is a bit of a sticking point there. Now, number two, unknown contents of the Thanos giving orb. To be opened today and the biggest issue is that it was hidden until today so people didn't actually know what the contents were on those orbs which was not very good so you're asking people to spend money on thanos giving orb offers which by the way are i believe still available i sorry i meant to hit the offers button you know that contain these fragments they're everywhere the thanos giving orb fragments and all of these offers they're there but until today we didn't actually know what was inside these orbs and so you were asking people to spend money on these offers to not know the contents of said orb which was a bit seedy uh so 2b the thanos given thanos giving orbs requiring 10,000 fragments for one orb that was pretty horrific we saw we just went over the, the orb it's not very good and that's asking you five times the amount than what a regular orb requires to open is not very good the content that, that, that leads to 2c so the contents of said orb was very bad some as bad as in one in one million odds so low that it could not be noted on the orb itself and it's very unlikely that not even one person will get any of those jackpot drops number three the icarus event being labeled 10 days instead of 14 days properly which was updated later on so that was in relation to the events tab here i know you're getting bombarded by offers all the time here the eternal connection so it was improperly labeled uh for probably about 18 hours or so and a lot of people were were, were you know confused about this properly number four the unknown orb at the end of the gift of celestials uh milestone which took a day to properly figure out and that was in case you're unaware is this orb here and for those who might still not know it is actually a random teal unique gear piece it does not tell you though 
what the item that you get is. So if you really want to find out, then you have to contact support and then they'll tell you what you got. So this is a bit of an issue. I don't know why they couldn't have programmed this better to at least show it to you when you got it. Would have cleared up a little bit of confusion. <clears throat> this leads us to number five. People are a bit upset with the way that you buy Icarus Shards, which is different from the Lady Death Strike store. This is due to milestone duration change on the Gift of the Celestials milestone, which is uh, two days versus one day. The way that the currency pays out is a little bit wonky. You end up with 7250 every two days rather than a full 7500 uh, People feel that because you're not actually buying Icarus Shards all the time, every reset, uh, this is a little bit different. I do want to assure people that at the end of the event, it is pretty much the same as the Lady Dust Strike event, though, and you will be getting a four-star free-to-play as long as you do all the content to end the milestones so take a step back chill out a little bit and by the end of the event you will get everything i assure you you will get that icarus four star and you know if you spend a little bit of course then you'll get that five star maybe uh number six there was delayed communication on all of the above problems publicly so I don't know if this would have solved a lot of the rage that is going on in this game right now with regards to the events but no doubt the communication was very very slow and this is something that they could have helped themselves to do a little bit quicker and maybe some of the fires might have been put out. Now, I know that there is a lot of issues here, you know, but yeah, they, they're not helping themselves by not actually communicating with us properly about all of the above issues that I mentioned. So they've been really slow to do this and that didn't help them at all. So. Let me know if there's anything I missed that you want to add to this list. I am going to be, you know, compiling this list and providing feedback to them about this. So if there's anything, you know, of that, those bullet points that I mentioned, please let me know in the comments down below and I will add that to my list if it hasn't been already. And yeah, I mean, I'll probably be doing another, a full review you know, over the weekend, most likely. And I have some more content coming forward, of course, on my channel as well. Things have just been a little bit busy, so please uh, forgive me for that. Otherwise, I hope for you in America that you enjoy your Thanksgiving, regardless of what's going on in Marvel Strike Force. And for everyone else in the world that's not celebrating it, well, I hope you enjoy your weekend anyways, uh, because we don't have a blog post tomorrow, and so you won't be seeing a blog video from me, but you will be seeing a different kind of video coming out tomorrow. So with that being said, uh, stay safe and healthy and I will see you all later. Boylan signing out.